Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and I've got a really dry throat, so hopefully that won't spoil tonight's episode, but I am going to record some more Wrath of the Righteous. I'm back in Galarian, it's Pathfinder rules, you know it well, also known as 3.5 plus 1, or third edition but better, or what fourth edition should have been. Yeah. So we brought the storyteller back to the inn, and we're supposed to speak to him. We do have a number of things to check up on. So these are all reminders for some reason. Go there. Do this, do that. Overall, it's fairly basic stuff. My current goal is to complete all of the time-sensitive quests before we progress to the next chapter and it's too late to do so. That being said, right? Gather allies for the attack on the Grey Garrison. The attack on the Grey Garrison has already happened. I mean, who else are we supposed to gather? Uh, hasn't this now just done? Well, I suppose we should keep on looking. Let's go speak to the storyteller and see what we he has to tell him. us. The blind old elf looks better than he did in your last encounter. His clothes are clean and his pale face has some colour. Or colour, as they've chosen to write here. The elf turns to you and listens closely. And since I've somehow managed to go about two weeks without recording an episode due to being distracted by things like recording Sacred Flame or Sacred Fire, I can't remember what his voice was like, but he was old. It wasn't quite... Okay, so we'll go... Um, is that you, my saviour? I recognised your footsteps. Determined footsteps befitting a determined person. Allow me to thank you again for saving me. Please accept this humble gift as a token of my appreciation. The elf hands you a small black ring with two scarlet runes on it. I mean, yeah, dry and sore, so I just have to be careful. Irabeth has explained why you were looking for me. I warned the authorities of Canabres that the local wardstone had been desecrated. They waved me off my warning and paid for their inaction. I have examined many wardstones, but only in the one guarding Canabres did I sense a flaw. A spot of corruption inside. A vulnerability the demons will surely use. They are able to spread the blight inside the wardstone, corrupt it, and make it their weapon. It frightens me to think that what it will be capable of, the wardstone must be destroyed. Oh, how very Diablo II, how very nihilistic. There may be another way. What blight is concealed in the wardstone? I am afraid I don't have the answer to your question. To understand the nature of this blight, we need to understand how the wardstone was created. And it is hidden from me. I can only guess. Have you heard of the Red Morning Massacre? A dreadful morning remembered with fear even by those not yet born at the time. A demoness called Minago invaded the city with a crowd of her followers and started to do what demons do best. Kill and desecrate. They say they covered the wardstone with pieces of dead bodies, splashed it with blood from top to bottom. Could such an abomination darken the radiance of the gift of Iomide herself? The locals think this is impossible, but who knows? Wait, that can't have happened recently, because he's saying people who were born after it... Fair, you know, think of it very badly. It was not the last attack. Many demon leaders brought their unholy forces here, even the terrifying Balor Koramzade. 
Their attacks were rebuffed, but they still reached their target. I think this is when the seed of corruption was planted in the stone. It wouldn't have grown on its own, but Discari himself has now come to take advantage of this weakness to open the abscess that is has been festering for years. Wait, there's an S between the B and C in abscess? I suppose it might make sense. Hmm. But Descari himself has now come to... Yes. Uh, where was I? Oh, I noticed by the... And when the Demon Lord struck the blow, the weakened stone gave in. Now it's in demon hands, and nothing is stopping them from spreading the blight throughout the entire stone. And from it to the other stones along the whole perimeter of the world wound. Stay a while and listen. Hang on, it's more stay a while and listen. And then you get into Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 where it's less of a Sean Connery impersonation than more of a generic old man voice. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Um... Do you wield some special magic power? Perhaps some sort of instinct? <laughs> the storyteller chuckles. Yes, to a certain extent, but it was more of a gift. I can see the past. Stories that have happened. I touch an object, and shreds of its owner's memories are revealed to my mind. Their emotions, passions, and tragedies. I see visions like I am them, and their stories happen to me. This is my power. I've been roaming the world, gathering such stories for many thousands of years. One day I will gather them all. And then they'll call it Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Who are you? And why did they let you examine the Wardstone? Of all people. Why you? The elf smiles faintly. I am the storyteller. Just an old elf and uh, a bit more. I'm old even for an elf. I've seen many things and have been to many places. Not so long ago, I witnessed the making of a young kingdom in the Stolen Lands, led by a remarkable and promising individual. That reminds me, I've got about 15 episodes more of that playlist to upload at some point on the backlog. And I should record some more Kingmaker as well. Sometime soon. My advice on the complicated matter of conquering those lands proved useful to that leader. Does this mean you're planning on giving advice to us here? Yes, you probably are, and you're probably going to put us in some position of control, even though we don't really want it, or need it, or deserve it. Well, maybe deserve, we might begin to deserve it, depending on our deeds and actions. This is not uncommon for me. Some seek my advice or services, and I don't refuse. This is how I acquired my reputation as an old vagrant who's never hurt anyone, stayed out of others' squabbles, but sometimes gave good advice. I had a few friends in Nerosian who vouched for my integrity. This is why my humble request to be allowed to see the world wardstone was granted. It's a wardstone, not a worldstone, young lady. And there's nothing about an angel wanting to destroy it here. I'm just a very tired old elf with a hood on. Like the angel, but never mind that. I visited all of them, and uh, but only found cause for alarm in Canabres. And why did you travel to the Wardstones? I tried to see their stories. The visions I had when I touched the board stones were unclear. I saw hundreds, maybe thousands of different stories at the same time. They followed each other like flashes of lightning. It was impossible to separate them. I couldn't understand where one of them ended and the next began, because they are all linked, which means the floor you saw in this wardstone might not have been in the others. Hmm. Although he did say he visited each of them. 
Well, I have heard you, storyteller. Thank you. In that case, you must make every possible effort to destroy the corruption. Yes, I want to destroy the corruption. Don't want to destroy the wardstone, because otherwise that'll be a gap in the border that they could utilize to spill out and infect the rest of the world. Unfortunately, I don't know where to get an instrument powerful enough to banish it from the wardstone. As far as I know, there is nothing like it in Canabres, but the demons might have something. What about the magic holy sword which has lost some of its power which the demons might have drained I heard the dying roar of Terendalev the silver dragon the protector of the city at the same time I felt a wave of unfamiliar power sweep over me from head to toe I would advise you to go where Terendalev perished and search there for Something... I am sorry, I can't be more specific. But intuition and a strange sense of rightness tells me to point you there. Well, look, I already went there and I found this thing. I'll present the purple stone knife. I found it in the square where Terendalev perished. What do you make of this? The storyteller reaches out and says softly, even from here, I can feel strange energies emanating from this object. If you don't mind, I will examine it using my method. I will try to see the past of its owner, their emotions and shreds of their memories. Maybe it will help us better understand what we're dealing with. The storyteller touches the knife his fingers clamping around the hilt with a hungry, masterful grip. His face contorts into an evil grimace, his voice disgustingly raspy. Hunger! My many legs bring me into the lair, to my mother's feasting hall. Her swollen body, overfilled with food, is so huge that I have to look at it with all of my eyes at once, merely to take it in. On top is her scrawny little head with a long beak that is always yearning for more food. You feel feverish, and your chest, where a mysterious wound is concealed, feels hot. Your mind is flooded with a wave of visions. Visions that repeat the words of the old elf. Oh, we may be going into one of those. No, not one of those decision things. Mother greets me with a placid screech. Stupid, greedy wretch, whose only achievement is my birth. A creeping, wingless creature. It's your fault I have no wings. A symbol of greatness. A birthright I should have received from my mighty father. Mother points me to a crowd of whimpering subjects, suggesting I fortify myself with their pathetic flesh. Not today. I summon my spawn and they fly to me, enveloping me in a teeming cloud. He's going to eat with mother, isn't he? Like dark buzzing wings, they unfold behind my back and lift me up. Mother has always been stronger, but she did not expect this. I dive on her and rip her limp, bloated body with my claws. Ica splatters the bone, spurs on my as heels sink into her flesh. I clench her pitifully tiny head and tear it off along with the shreds of meat. Victory! I am the strongest! I am the son of my winged father! The elf grimaces with distaste. His voice becomes normal again. Appalling. Stories like that are the most difficult ones to keep with me. Did this knife belong to a demon? Demons truly know no love. Killing one's own mother. Ooh, 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 this is... I still don't understand. What does the knife have to do with... Uh... This is judgmental, right? And we, we are looking... To, we've been quite chaotic. We can go with this. Yeah, sure. But it's also... Huh. That's open to contradiction. So did this light knife truly belong to a demon? The storyteller opens his mouth to answer, but a sudden spasm crosses his face. A new vision. 
a much stronger one engulfs the old elf. The malevolent undertones vanish from his voice as it grows more determined and tired. Even looking at the wardstone is difficult. Despite the corruption nesting in it, it still has an aura of strength. Your fingers clench the stone hilt so tight it hurts. A little spot of, on the flawless surface of the, ward, surface of the wardstone draws your attention. It looks like a butterfly. Ah, Desna, of course. Corruption in the disguise of something utterly harmless. But it will grow. You swing and stab the butterfly with the knife as hard as you can. Your fingers cramp painfully. A howl invades your ears. Light, white light everywhere. The stone knife falls from the old elf's hands. Out of breath, he drops to his knees. He is trembling, the terror on his face so unlike his usual dignified manner. What? What was that? That was not the past. That was something that is yet to happen, or rather, might happen. One of the roads to the future. In one of the possible futures, this item will help you cleanse the wardstone, or to destroy it. Right. If the Desnans placed a a seal on the wardstone, like a spell, to bind in the wickedness and keep it safe so it couldn't come out and be utilized and corrupted, then I should leave that there. If it is disguised as a Desnan symbol, like a moth or something, and is evil, it should be cut out. But the whole thing of the thing exploding and, and killing us all feels bad. So that is very open to interpretation. You feel a longing to, stick, to take the stone chisel and plunge it into your chest, right into the wound that has opened up in it. It is hard to resist this feeling, but at the last moment your self-preservation instinct takes over and you manage to keep control of your own hands. The old man stands up. He looks stunned. Never before has anything like this happened to me. But how? I am not an oracle or a prophet. Or is this another riddle from the past that has caught up with me? I must find out. Seeing stories that have happened is one thing, but seeing stories that are yet to happen... I don't know why this is happening now, but here is one thing I'm sure of. This is not a coincidence. This is a sign of coming changes. Great changes. Uh, the knife belonged to some kind of alien creature that considered itself to be like an ancient age of time, past, present, and future, and, and didn't really have a concept, much of a concept of the difference between the three, or was like melding them together. So this could be why a possible future for the knife is available for him. I shared your vision and this knife tempted me. Did you see what I saw? This has never happened before. Could it be the magic of the object that you brought me? I sent dark energies of in it that can cloud and charm the mind. Be careful with this item. It may have tried to influence you, but you managed to overcome its power and subdue it. Or perhaps something else happened to us. Something we don't understand. Maybe it's the knife that gives you the power of divination, or rather its former owner. This knife is a powerful artifact, but I feel that its power is of a different nature. No, I feel the same as I do when I tell the past. This is my gift, but manifested in a completely abnormal way. I see. Is what you saw destined to happen? No, the future is not set. It used to be a long time ago when the god Aradon guarded Galarion, and then Aradon was murdered. But not now. Prophecies do not come true, or they do, but 
not the way they were supposed to. I only saw one version of the future, one of the paths leading to it, but the choice has not been made, and our destinies are not set in stone. So here's me thinking that the knife cutting out the butterfly from the surface of the stone could be like the Inquisitor who bade me eradicate the Desnan priest or Desnan high priest, right? Because, you know, the butterfly is Desna's holy symbol, and I could blatantly see this being related. Especially as the Desnans requested access to the stone to cast protective spells on it to prevent it from becoming corrupted, and they were denied. Who were you in your vision? I hope it's not me. Because if it's a vision of something the demon wanted to do, to, to, to cut out from the surface, that could explain how the stone was weakened. I don't know. Someone strong and desperate enough to resort to extreme measures. I felt that what I was doing had to be done. Well, your powers are truly astonishing, old man. A few minutes ago, I would have agreed with you, but the thing that has just happened, it disturbs me. My gift has never manifested like this. Something has changed, and these changes frighten me. Um, could you please examine the items I bear? Perhaps some of them could tell us a story, like the Holy Sword! The storyteller nods politely. Let me touch them, and I will tell you what I can see. The old elf carefully takes Yaniel's sword, Radiance. Powerful forces lie dormant in this sword. It used to belong to an incredibly bright and daring soul. The storyteller's hand runs carefully over the scale that has still not lost its shine. Proud Terendalev, protector of Canabras, you devoted your life to serving people. Your death is a great loss, but maybe I will be able to find out something about you that it is unknown to your many admirers. The elf looks at you with unusual impatience. Shall we? Um, uh, the stone knife. Risky. I'm not going to do that just yet. What do you see in the past of this sword? This should hopefully get him in a much better mood. The storyteller touches the blade with his finger. Sadness rings in his voice. Threshen is doomed. Demons attacked right when we lost the protection of the Sword of Valor. My city, my bastion of hope. We built you as a symbol that the lands mutilated by the Abyss could still be restored to mortals. Now you are perishing, and there is nothing I can do. We retreat. No, we flee. A frightened crowd rushes out into the night through the southern gate. They are chased by the angry howls of demons killing the last defenders of the citadel. My heart goes out to them, but I'm still standing, still on the wall. I am covering the retreat. Perhaps there we could find the strength of the sword if it, that is where it lost its power. Demons do not attack. They seethe around you, fall from the sky, strike from all sides at once. They can't be stopped, but they can be distracted. I run to the upper floor of the gate tower. Radiance glows with a golden light in my hands. I permit myself to close my eyes for just one heartbeat. I imagine that the soft glimmering of the sword I see from my closed eyelids is the light of the summer sun. I smile. I open my eyes and call out, Hey! Descari Spawn! Who wants the best trophy of the night? 
You know my name, Yaniel. You know how many of you I have killed with this very hand. <coughs> you want to curry favour with Darazand, Minago, or the echo of your lord? Bring them my head if you can. Roaring and screaming, they rushed towards me in a wave of deformed bodies and unfurled wings. The wave crashes against me, spattering my army with armour with bloody froth. Broken wings and chopped up bodies plummet to the foot of the tower. In the heat of battle, I see Joran's pale face down there. Joran Vane, obviously. He looks up at me in desperation, but he can't help. He's carrying two wounded on his shoulders. My city will fall, but my friends will survive. This is what I am fighting for. I am covering the retreat. The flow of fleeing people gradually dwindles. My armor is broken in many places, and I cannot heal my wounds any more. The last demon I stabbed with radiance suddenly recoils, tearing the handle out of my blood-slicked hand. He flies up, but falls somewhere far behind the walls, by the road being taken by those fleeing. No more golden glow in my hands. The night closes in on me, filled with shrieking, mocking demon laughter. Dresden, I am dying with you. Light of the sword, righteous Yomade, accept my soul. The storyteller runs his hand along the blade with a sad smile. I know whose memory this is. I've heard about her so many times. Yaniel was a true crusader. Touching her memories is so cleansing. Do you see the future of this sword? Let's see if his power now extends to other objects as well. Just one of the numerous possibilities. The blind elf touches the sword hilt and metal rings in his voice. I slide out of the sheath swiftly. I proudly watch the army of warriors led by my lady. I sing slashing the air, putting courage in their hearts. I am Radiance. Tremble, city of Dresden. My lady Yaniel has perished, but I am not yet done. Charge! The storyteller returns the sword to you. It was nice to know <laughs> that this sword's glory days are not over. It has many battles ahead. Take care of it. It is a glorious sword. I will show him Terendalev's scale. Tell me of Terendalev. The storyteller takes a deep breath and smiles. I am flying. I can finally spread my wings. I am gliding over a broad river. The sunset has turned its surface smooth like a mirror and I see my reflection. It is as if another silver dragon is rising to meet me from the depths, but what is it? The scales on my chest are black and the darkness is spreading over my body. I wake up. A clear sky sways above me, blazing with heat. I am in human form. The red dust of the wound clings to my cracked lips. Someone is carrying me on a stretcher made of shields and spears. I am so weak, I can barely lift my hand to my face. The sight of my own hand terrifies me. It is black, and the skin glistens like scales melted by fire. I probably ought to cry, but I only feel hatred and nausea. All these people around me, out of sympathy for them, did I choose to leave the mountains. I gave up my flights over rivers. I went to the demon's lair. 
They don't have a scratch on them, but I am infected with foulness. It's not fair. My life is more precious than their prophetic existence. Oh, how I hate them in this moment. Wait, does he mean the demons or the people? I think now he means the people. And then I suddenly feel shame. No, no, these are not my thoughts. The crusaders carrying me are my good friends. I am glad they did not suffer. But I hate them and myself so much. Pain and hatred pierce me all at once. It's all because of them. All because of them. Someone walking beside me touches me, talks to me, but the only thing I hear is... Your mentor. He will come. He will help. And I lose consciousness. The storyteller takes a deep breath, emerging from the vision. So much hatred from Terendalev. Wasn't she on our side? Terendalev has come a long way. Her unit was ambushed by demons once, and she was infected with foulness. The Terendalev you met in Canabres had gone through many rituals and regained her former purity. Well, I'd ask what happened next, but I think you've just told me. The storyteller puts his hand to his forehead. Sometimes the past can be as vague as the future. We all know how Terendalev's story ended, but the beginning is hidden from us. Maybe if you find something else that used to belong to her, we will know more about her struggle. What, like a second scale? Probably not a second scale. However, no matter what we learned, remember her soul, the soul of a true dragon, overcame every obstacle, endured every torment. She was able to purify herself, for dragons are truly powerful, not only in body, but in spirit too. And now, now that he's been bolstered by the power of the Holy Sword, which let's hope it doesn't do too much damage, and maybe it would have been nice to leave him with the, the strength of the sword and its kindness and goodness, but all of this negativity might have been too much for him, so that's why I placed that first. I should probably put it after the dragon, to be honest. Okay, we will give him a stone knife and ask about its former owner. Okay, okay, is this literally the same? It's literally the same. Okay. Uh, thank you, Alfia Melenos. I'm not going to ask him to remind me why it's important to cleanse the ward stone. But it would be interesting to know if that this explanation would back up his claim that he wants it to be destroyed. Can I help you? The storyteller nods gratefully. I appreciate your offer. I have reason to believe that somewhere in Canabres there is a manuscript offered by an elf from Keonin who witnessed Earth fall. The storyteller's voice suddenly breaks and he stops for a moment. For personal reasons, I would like to examine it, but no matter how hard I try, I have failed to find it. Even in the Blackwing Library, I only found a mention that the manuscript exists and is held somewhere in the city. I assume it is stored in the Grey Garrison. They wouldn't let me into the archive when I visited. All those crusaders were nervous about the strange blind elf interested in their secrets. It's understandable. The crusade naturally made them a little paranoid, but now the Grey Garrison has fallen into the enemy hands. I would be grateful if I could see the manuscript. You're literally blind, but I think I know what you mean. I should go. I wish you interesting adventures. Interesting adventures may very well be similar to interesting times. Okay, we appear to be rested. 
Let's get out of the Defender's Heart. We've been here for far too long. Let's go back at... We're not at full health. How about our companions? See, we, we can't see companions here to see if they are fully rested. Um, can we check? We are not fully rested. Looking at spell slots did the trick. And isn't it lovely how everyone in the inn is just staying exactly on the same spot, apart from Ember's Raven, which gets to sleep. We must rest. Um, yeah, you can cook. We're not making any scrolls yet. Do not rest for recommended period. Just rest for one period. And then we will be out of here. So interestingly, we have speech here for companions that is not fully voiced. Unlike the camping dialogue in Kingmaker. Maybe that will happen in the future. I don't know. But I think the game's been out long enough, but it's not likely to be in... Look, do I need to click this to get rid of it or something? No, I don't. Okay. We only have seven potential party members at the moment, meaning... Okay. Meaning that we have to have either Nenio or... Um, Mr. I'm going to mess up your lifelink by having my own lifelink too. And then the game might get confused. There's actually been a few patches since I last played. Um, a lot of the, pa the patch notes always start with quest and area specific stuff, which is often things I haven't encountered yet, so I tend to avoid them. Let's hope nothing bad happened here while we were resting. Please, no more demon bodies around my bed. Thank you for the lack of demon bodies. I greatly appreciate the lack of dead Together demons. We stand. For now, though, I'm getting outside. I will not now, falter. I'm not sure what kind of uh, time limit I'm on here, but we've got these soldiers dragging the body here. Uh, let's talk to Joran Vane. No, we can't ask him about reforging the sword. I'm imagining he will be important, but hey... Hey, 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 let's, uh, let's sell some stuff. Because we have some weapons and armor we can't sell. So we're obviously not going to sell Radiance, right? J just in case anyone was worried, I might actually do that. Uh, Karma, not even magical. Light Pick, not even magical. Cold Iron, Masterwork, Scimitar. Cold Iron, good. Masterwork, good. Scimitar, we don't have a lot of people who are likely to use that. Quad Staff of Coercion adds plus one to the DC for all will save throws against spells the wielder casts. Nenio, who specialised in illusion, despite her odd obsession with truth, should be using this. We have a hoopack. It's not even magical, unfortunately. A dagger, a long sword of detriment. Plus one longsword deals an additional one negative energy. So that's a little bit of damage, right? That's all right. Cold Iron Masterwork Javelin. Maybe keep it and throw it. Marching Terror. We don't have a lot of people utilizing pole arms. I know this plus one delay of lands a hit on new enemy for first time with D6. First time only. And can frighten people. Okay, I see. Um... We received this as a gift from Jistka, so I think we should keep it for now. Uh, heavy Flail of Weakness, minus one penalty attack resonance. Okay, for one round, that's all right. Uh, we'll sell those. Club with Nails, fine. Actually, that's not a bad weapon. We might... Right. That's not magical. That's not magical. This... Maybe an upgrade. Uh, that's not going to help. Okay, well, well, we'll make our trade. So. Um, I think dexterity 13 
think we'd actually get a point of armor class for this. And it might look a bit better. Nice apaldrons. Uh, 25. 24. So yes, upgrade. And, because it's not even magical, I can get more money selling this one. Um, Crypt Raider's armor, as plus one scale, I see upgrade here, since we now have this armor on her, so yes. Doesn't look quite as nice, but it's okay. And in terms of weapons, I believe you can use this. And it will be an improvement. For those rare occasions when you will actually wallop something up close. And we do want to be transitioning her to a slightly more frontline role. Also, Nenio. Staff, yes. You also had a crossbow. We'll put that there. We'll keep the staff in your hands because we can put you on magic spells for ranged attack. Maximum dexterity bonus, I know. Uh, I'm keeping the tutorials open for you guys. Um, I probably don't need to do that. Uh, God, I must work. So there's a backup weapon, maybe, but what else? There you go. That's a straight plus one, so we can go with all of those. Sell that lot. We got ourselves a bit of, you know, bit of room. Um, we also want to sell some of these things. Storyteller's ring. Ooh, all saves against fire. Okay. Uh, we don't have a magic ring yet, so sure. Um, midnight bolt. We're saving that for an emergency and a half. Um, some fish. We, we can, we're not carrying massive amounts of stuff that we don't need to sell yet, so let's get back into the city, right? Take our party with us. You get to stay here. You all get to come with me because you two horrible people who don't deserve to be in the party haven't had suitable replacements turn up yet, and you, who are completely dishonest about your past, um, no way of really getting fruity to you there, I'm afraid. Yet. She's got her amulet of undetectable alignment. Right. So what do we got here? We got the Blackwing Library. Uh, the taxi and wine cellar, we want to go there. We want to go to the market square, finish it off a bit. Ah, still can to tell you. The Tower of Estrod. The Hour of Reckoning has come. No, it has not. No, we are not going there. The Hour and Day Party House. Been there, all right. Uh, Gugworm Mansion. Lethal. Uh, let's go do some of these, right? That'd be nice. Those do involve practically going by the market. How about I drop by the market square on the way back? <sighs> okay, we failed to sneak past enemies. Awesome, let's fight the enemies. Hello, my enemies! Stay a while and die! I won't let you hurt my friends! Oh, this'll be good. Okay, lady. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna acid splash. I'll remove this obstacle. You know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna partial charge. Because an illusionist is not a good thing. We're trying to maintain our Alchemist, illusionist, sure. Oh, lady, that was dreadful. All right, all right, so be it. Oh, and you're unlimited. Yes, yeah, so just get to there. Spread out, because they're going to start chucking bombs and stuff. Oh, and we have a witch. A witch 
with a slumber hex. Hey, Lon. Shoot stuff, Lon. Yep, that works. Really? Acid Splash from Illusionist. Okay, yeah, we'll take that and then we'll be like, hey, Acid Splash you as well. You're an alchemist, you should be familiar with acid. That was a... That feels wrong. Okay. Right, well look, we're just going to go stab you with a little open. pointy rapier, because that's apparently dangerous these days. And chop you up with a bloody great big sword. Much more... 24 point critical hit? Much more dangerous. I, I stand by my word. Okay, lady, look. That's bad. It hurts. Here's a healing spell. Do it. Works a charm. Hey, so about that slumber hex. Uh, you're not going to do that now, are you? No. Oh, well. Misfortune will go... Um, armor class, just to make you die a bit quicker. Olan! Is this thing called a target? Um, you, you get the me. idea. They have things and stuff for which we are truly grateful. And also we're going to nick this one's stuff as well. You is dead mate, we're leaving. Okay. So we're heading off to the Tirabade household, where hopefully things will be relatively set. You know, we're just picking up stuff. Supplies that may help us. Awesome, more enemies. Okay, let's do it. No time for debates. We s love the smell of enemies in the morning. It smells like initiative rolls. Mate, are you seriously on your own? Y you appear to very seriously be on your own. This is disconcerting. It's almost as if you're going to die. Because we got Lan, see? And he's got arrows in. Yep, you're dead. Knew there had to be someone else, though. Oh, hey, awesome. Wonderful. You get an acid splash. Okay, then. It's like that moment in Firefly where River's looking for Simon Tam when he's been kidnapped. She comes, like, appears around bushes and goes, "Found you." As in Nanny Odell, she's like, "Oh, hey, look, I found the enemy," and and she's nearly dead. What's this, uh, like, sparkling effect? I'm getting around the edge of that. So, so it's like pixelation. It feels bad. Also, speaking of feeling bad, um. Okay, we'll just come in and... Blood. I was like, I'll make a lovely ranged spell. No, I won't. Into the fray. <laughs> okay, where are you? Oh, you're over there. Lovely. Well, hey, look, here's what happens. First, you get shot. Then, you get shot. And then the fight's over. We're going to be, like, so over-encumbered by the time we leave this area. Oh, well. And there's Camellia, the fibbing fibster. The one who doesn't want us to know how chaotic naughty she really is. She probably... I, my feeling is she worships a forbidden god. Uh, I don't mean, like, um, Norgorba, but one of the really nasty ones. I just don't feel that I can trust her. More enemies? Why didn't you say so? Let's kill their faces off. All off. All the way off. Right off. Oh, hello, giant spider thing. Two giant spider things. Excellent. Lance just going to shoot you now, giant spider. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. The inheritor. And you're dead. All right. All right. Acid splash. Sure. Um, ooh, uh, let's try for that partial charge. It should work. Okay, Is nope, nope, just, just move out the way. Likewise, 
back the F up, lady. Oh! Oh, I see. This is why charge lanes are messed up. I'll hit you. You can you finish it, Lon? Me. Yeah, you know you can do it. The nice thing about these random encounters is they give us bonus experience points. And there's plenty of enemies in the area to justify it. And we're nearly there. We're nearly there on our blue little horse miniature. We absolutely wish to enter this location. It's why we came all the way over here. All right. Is that cultist talking about the, 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 the question and answer thing going to be here again? Possibly. This map looks very similar. Hello, here's a box full of stuff. Um, so far, nothing else stands out too much. Okay, walking directly into the middle because there's likely to be an ambush from the two sides. No ambush from the sides, but entranced fighter. That's not good. He is not under his own will. Oh dear. Who's got you under their control? That's not going to shock you out of it, is it? Hey, Lon! Shoot stuff, Lon! Mate, you rolled a 7 and an 8? That's tragic. No, I don't want to come round this side. I want to come round this side. You are today's sacrifice! Because you're coming this way. The light take you. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? That looks like something that might be controlling them. Okay, so look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go evil eye on attack rolls on you, because you're more likely to live longer than the one sealer's facing. And we're going to try smack you with a spiky mace. Okay, that's a lot. Hmm... Okay, look, you've asked for this, pal. Uh, Gonna regret casting that, but hey. Also, I should be looking for that additional foe. Is that the door into the Tirabade residence? Quite possibly, as it seems to be the only one around here. Hey, Lan! You know the drill by now. Make every strike count. They got a lot of health. Go for their hearts! Failed to stab, rolled a one. Oh, well. Oh look, I can totally hit you from here. Because the they're going to take some serious killing. Okay, yes, it's definitely... Hello there, I see you. Um, well look, you're quite nasty. Let's not save and froze. Attack rolls. AC. Yeah, do it. And then prepare to cackle. We don't have cackle yet, do we? Spread out, because AoEs are nasty. Don't pull any more. Alright, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to back up a square, and then we're going to say, Hey, that really hurt. Please don't do that again, or I'll have to do this. There we go. Lovely. Now, if he's got any sense, he'd take a five-foot step, follow her, and hit again. But he doesn't, so that's okay. Right, well, you're a rather serious threat. Let's, uh... What do I know about these things? Like, seriously, what do I know? Good and cold iron. Electricity and negative energy. And poison are immune. Acid, cold and fire. That's acid. That's cold. Well, this... Well, she's not an evoker, so she doesn't have a massive pit. Not pit. Gonna have to be magic missiles. I don't have a lot of other options, unfortunately. 
Only one? Lady, what? What level are you? You're... Level four, you should have two missiles by now. Hey, Lan! He's got a low AC, Lan. Oh, poo, you're only going to get one shot. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. As far as range goes, that's a joke. Right. I'll cut you wide open. Okay, we, we're getting the hits, just not the damage. Sila. The inheritor. Guide Ooh, my bad roll. Okay. He's going to do it again, isn't he? He did it again. Massive flick like wounds, that's just mental. Okay. Now we've got a serious problem. Hey, let's have a cure like wounds. And a move to here. All right. Um, we're all in. And then we're going to just walk over here a bit, which does mean, yes, Nenio will need to come closer, but I think we can manage that. Um, did that heal him as well? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it did. It did. Oh, well. Time to live dangerously. No effect time. Then again. Hey, Lon. You know the drill. That's one hell of a step. That's more like two or three steps. Okay, okay, we can do this. The spirits demand your blood. Okay, lady, you're gonna have to make that weapon magical soon if you think you're gonna help more. The light take you. And sidle around to there, please. Thank you. He's everything okay he's sleeping is he also stunned well we've been hitting him so probably not um fire 44 did she just bob up in the air then that was weird okay mate get burned Failed to overcome spell resistance? Fair enough, then. Right, well, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to walk to here, and we're going to say, you need a lifelink. Okay, okay, how are we going to do this? Um, we got nothing there that will really help. We could walk in and bash him? No. So we could absolutely acid splash this chap. this obstacle? And run away before he gets another inflict like a mass inflict like wounds off. Lan! Oh, no, um. Quiver, five cold iron arrows, shoot away. This. Oh, that's great. Uh, I did say it had to happen, didn't I? There we go. You are today's sacrifice. Get stabbed at, and she rolls a one. Of course she does. Uh, Sila, I might actually need to have you charge over there, but hold off for now. Into the fray. That was good. Good damage. You're still absolutely stunned. Um, right, well, look, we're just going to shoot you really, us. really close up and back off. Let's hit him again. Overcome. Hey, that was good. Mind over muscle. Uh, no, Nenio, it's a matter of mind over matter. You don't mind and he doesn't matter. Sorry, when you don't mind, he won't matter. When he doesn't matter, you won't mind. Right, mate. Make every strike count. Now. That was so good because I think you've only got one more of those cold iron arrows. Go for their hearts, lady. How many ones do you need to roll? 
the inheritor guide my blade okay look uh slumber hex you is feeling sleepy now in it all right maybe not fine do not hold back it's okay he hit the wrong person carry on you should have listened to reason Hey, Lan. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Normal arrows now, Lan. I will see this right. Through. If we could all like, you know, stand together. Over here would be great. You know, by the dead demon. Let's open that box as well. Yeah, that's nice. Our time has come. Because I'm going to click this button. And I'm pretty sure that's what I came here for. Okay, let's go in. Ember thinks this is a suitable place to sit cross-legged and relax. There's somebody dead here. That's not a good sign. That is quite a discovery. This is a very small house. Oh, that would be something Anivia set up. Okay, Camellia, you know the drill. I shouldn't be doing this. I should be looking for this thing over here. Yes. I will fight. Oh, bugger. New plan. Why don't you come out and and trigger the trap for us? That'd be really nice for you, wouldn't it? Come on, you can do this. Let's go stand here and hope we don't get walloped. I'll probably take that two-handed sword away from her because it's just not been very useful at all. Oh, hey, you. Hello. Um, so let's just reduce your attack rolls. Because witches are like that. And Lan says, do you even get a turn, bruv? You won't survive me. Mate, you just went right through the corner of that trap. I'll remove this obstacle. Oh, sh who are you? A succubus? No wonder. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're in real trouble. This is actual danger. Well, okay, let's uh, let's think about this. I'm gonna step back and bless. Because her spell resistance won't work on anything we do to ourselves. Right, Camellia. Be a darling. Make your weapon magical. Um, hit this bloke. I'll cut you wide open. Uh, this, this woman even. Didn't really work. Right. Sila. Smite time. The light take you! Yeah, can see what's going to be a problem. Can we dispel that? Probably not. Have we got glitter dust? Maybe, actually. Right. Hey, hey, Ember, look. Here's a thing, right? Uh, let's make this a much simpler encounter than it was. Perfect. Lan, you gotta know what's going on by now, man. Endure this! I mean, yeah. Touch AC. Oh! Yeah, 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 or CMD. Right. Dear Nanio. Magic Missile does not pay attention to, yeah, recover it, cast it. What mischance? Immune to... Oh, she got a shield spell up? She might have a shield spell up. Lovely. Well, we'll just end your turn there and... Uh, She's going to do something nasty like dominate someone. Of course. Well, it was predictable. Right, what am I going to do here? That's now a problem. Slumber Hex helps solve that problem. Um, what else? Oh, she's cackling now. What a horrible creature. I could have ended the episode just before I came in here, but I was like, no, 
I'll just go into the building and it'll be really nice and quick and easy. Yeah, like, like hell it was. Okay, okay. Uh, nothing too useful there yet. Oh, oh, oh. Bugger. <laughs> yeah, of course, she charmed the person with the lifelink spell active, meaning we can actually batter the living smeg out of her. Right, so what's the plan? Plan is, uh, don't get killed. Plan part two. Um, can I get round here, please? That'd be great. Is that bless still going? That bless is still going. Okay, we'll just hold off on these for now. Lady, you shouldn't have done that. Let's continue with the mischances, shall we? Into the fray. Oh, that was cruel. Right, guess what? Slumber Hex on you first, Camellia. And she's immune. Great. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would blatantly say that this immunity is something to do with her um, her necklace of Make every alignment count. concealment. And there was me just wanting to disarm that trap. Right, well look, hey, here's what we're going to do, right? Pit. Gets the enemies. And I made a pit. Also managed to back up. Okay. Oh... We are taking negative levels, that's really bad. They can absolutely mess us up. You're visible now. Hey, hey, look, this is a weapon. It's going to totally fail to... Yeah. Thought so. Right. This is not going to end well, but... Oh my goodness. Mmm, missed by... F wait, 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 29? Great, uh, I think we all die now. Lovely. Right, can we just like totally mess you up with, uh, you know, a slumber hex, which probably won't work. She got a save, so that could have worked. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. All right, all right. Okay. Let's close that a minute. Let's check. Shield spell, yes. Mighty evil smoke. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mage armor, yeah, yeah. Right. Electricity immune to poison electricity. Magic missile. Magic missile again. And force strike. Acid, cold, fire, electricity, and sonic? Sonic damage? Not that we have any, but okay. Um, what's the other one? I think there might be one other energy type. Right. We need things and stuff. Incredibly potent, powerful things and stuff like that, for example. Wait, 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 wait. You can cast that, can't you? Right, what else? Uh, hmm. Uh, uh, oh! Oh! We is sneaky. This could, this could be so bad. I do not find this to be useful. Yes, you do. I have no need for this. Lady, you're literally the only person who can do it. Doom! 
That's okay, she's got spell resistance. Uh, right, so look. We really want to utilize these scrolls of infliction, which will... Oh, because they're not light. Are they too low? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's just refusing to use more powerful ones because she doesn't reckon her chances. Right, so... Forgive me, this might mess me up. I feel dirty. Failed to overcome spell resistance, that's fine. What is... 19? Yeah, okay, fine. What? Oh, it's a scroll, so it's only level 1. Yeah, right, got it. Keep trying to hit her. Not that it's going to help, but... It helped. It helped a lot. Okay, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to scream at you. We failed to overcome spell resistance. That means that ear piercing scream will not work on this sensuous demoness. Uh, once you fail with one spell, you will fail with the same spell every time until you level up, essentially. Right, Lan. You won't survive me. Good God, man, you need to practice your own natural 20s. Right. You can cast ear piercing scream. Yeah, that's right. Actual physical damage, as they would say in Ghostbusters. If it was like damage and not just contact. Right, so. Uh, look, I'm going to back up. Cast Divine Favor and get ready to get in there and mess you up proper and good with a load of attacks that are going to miss you. Man, 17, not good. Okay, so with 12, you need a 17 to hit. Okay, so that's a that's a 20%. In theory, she should be landing an attack constantly. Right. You, milady, have an armor class. We don't like that. Yeah, all right, she passed her save. Nice sound effect, though. Lan, stay there, man. Don't back up to shoot. Just, you know, provide a target. Should have brought this one back. Okay, well, what other options do we have? Uh, blur would be lovely. Uh, 46. But it would involve going really close and probably dying. Cast it and fall in the pit. Perfect. <laughs> lovely. Love it. Love it. Yeah, just, just fall in that pit and you... Ah, uh, but in the pit she's next to the dominated. The no longer dominated. Interesting. Uh, Camellia, you're, you're not attacking the demon for some reason. Right, let's get you out of the pit. Flanking! Yeah, plus two to hit before she falls in the pit again. So that's a, a 6, so that's a 30%. And it landed! Yeah! Also, um, ow, so, yeah. Right, Ember. She has the ability to hit us. That hurts a lot. We don't like it. Yeah, okay, fine. Lan? Make Keep at it, man. Okay, what's she going to do with her turn? She's going to keep trying to attack the one who is important. So, yeah, that's reasonable. We shall overcome. Okay, you going to get out of that pit as well? Excellent. The spirits demand your blood. Oh, lady, you're not good. Ouch! And there was me thinking I was ending Camellia's turn. Bugger! Alright, what have we got left here? Uh, attack rolls? Yeah, sure. Okay. You Keep at it, Lan. Just be grateful it's not a gnashing pit. Right, uh, Nenio. Go away, we don't want those. 
do you have any lovely no no not while you're in the pit you is just uh, a pit person and we're totally happy with that you keep fighting us and oh the pit's gone oh she jumped up in the air that was lovely right we're gonna try whack her again do not hold back not good okay okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna stand provoke an attack of opportunity get messed up stab this guy because this guy we can kill right you will hit her eventually trust me on this one you just have to live long enough to do it right you pal surrender or else your trouble uh, actually, yeah, speaking of which... You won't survive me. Oh, mate, a 7 and an 8? That's just bad. Okay, we do not want you on this trap trigger. We want you off that trap trigger and looking at your spell options. Yes, Demoness, please keep fighting and who the hell are you attacking now? That is uh, not good for us. At one point, we might roll a 20. It's not happening yet, though. I'll cut you wide open. It's okay, we're taking care of the charmed man. I'm not going to say he leads a charmed life, because at the moment he's having a pretty miserable time. Mate, you rolled a 2? Fine. Okay, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Ooh, hello. That's healing. You're hurt. Yes. See, she can be supportive. Endure this. This pain. Is uh, what that is just wrong. Right. Okay. Uh, throw a snowball at him. That was surprisingly effective. And this could be really bad for us. That's a lot of ones. Great. So, you've got a lifelink. You should be receiving health. So we're going to hit you. Or try. We failed, but we tried. Right. So we need that five foot step back. Um, fortune's really good. Creature within 30 feet. Yes. We need this. The inheritor, guide my blade. Five and thirteen. Ah, oh, tragic. Okay. Uh, you failed that, so that won't work again. Right. No. 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 Okay. We'll just try to shoot her. Too late for apologies. Not expecting miracles, not getting any. Lan? We should have given him that. Make every strike count. Right. Okay, so let's go to here. And what have we got? We'll try it. Ah, <laughs> oh, we tried. We failed. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to back up and chuck in a big heel. Here we go. Lovely. Right. We can do this again, you say? Lan. Can you be a hero? I don't know, but maybe we can absolutely slog her there. Nope. Hey, look, this is a cure like wound spell. This is a camellia. We will combine the two to get a healthier camellia. Okay, Lan. Please, 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 please. I mean, yeah, she's got the damage reduction, and yeah, that didn't last too long, but oh well. I'm not going to drop another pit. What can I do here with these? Mirror image will be good. Is it self only? Self only. 
You know what? You probably needed that before you came in. It could be the difference between life and death. Oh, speaking of which, hey, um... We shall overcome! Yep, yep, we're missing. Okay, so... For one round... Is it one round? At this point, yes, one round. Okay. We'll try it. Yeah, she passed her save. It's fine. Can you hit her? Bob the Builder says, yes, you can. Right, have we got anything left we can use on her? Okay, sure. Do we get to keep trying on them until we until they fail? Wow. Lan, she's a slightly easier target. Survive me. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, you better just end your turn, lady, because there's not a lot more you can do here. What's this? No, that's not going to help. Pick a victim. Any victim. Yeah, that hurts a bit. Right. So. You should obviously lifelink to her now and uh, shit a brick here's a healing hex guess what it works can we try again I really think we should the inheritor guide my oh come on I made it two points easier for a little bit. All right. Let's try everything until she fails. Lan! Shoot a demon, Lan. Nenio, you got nothing. Okay, we can live with that. Lovely jubbly. Do not hold back. Ah, oh, close. Or not, as the case may be. Right. You need a magic weapon, my lady. Let's do that. And what's this? Move fear, not gonna be particularly helpful. Ooh. It's touch, isn't it? Okay, fine. The light take you. Uh lower the load on the healer. Hey, cure light. Do the job. Keep her standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lan, you should probably be dropping deadly aim, right? And I should have probably thought of that a few rounds ago. Right. What do we do? We... Look at our health, look at everyone else's health. We try to hit her again. Strike as one. Oh, so close. All right, get in there. The spirits demand your blood. Oh, fine. Into the fray. My goodness. Terrible, terrible misfortune. Right. Speaking of terrible misfortune, let's uh, evil eye saving throws. Yeah, that's good. You crossed the wrong mongrel. Look, this demon lady is a hard fight. I'm fine with that, right? Attack! It is what it is. But I really need to be to dropping Lan's hard shot. Thing is, Benny won't get through a down reduction so much, so keep trying. Come on, get that 14. Yes! Oh, she's very low now. Uh, that won't work, because she has spell resistance. Vulnerability curse, you say? Get rid of all her energy resistance. Tried it. Didn't work. Man, I've got to use that more often. Right. Drop deadly aim. You won't survive me. We wait until we know the resistance is down.
All right, all right, all right, all right. We do not potion. Not today. We strike. We shall overcome. What? Like the him? Like the Carol? No. Keep hitting. For their hearts. We tried. Okay, this could be it. This could be the very end of the fight. The light. Strike true. And let us not hesitate. Heal. My God, the, the the bird flew over the trap, and I was like, no. It's actually standing in it, isn't it? It is. Right, I Camellia. I have a duty for you. It involves standing where there used to be a pit. I am helpful, am I not? You did help. Now. Ooh, a magic rapier, maybe. And a cloak. We're having those. Cloak of disguise, you say? Something tells me I that belonged to Anivia. Uh, cloak of disguise. Yeah, okay, we'll give that to you, my dear. Alright, nice. Um, magic rapier, you say? I mean, it's not cold iron and you can make yours magic, so yours is generally better. Alright. What's the plan? The plan is... War must end. Healing well, Hex, right? It should work. Is it flawed? On yourself, then. And Nenio. I will not falter. We'll drop it. I just see it there, so it's there. Nice big heal, and it's time to... Gather our party and venture onwards into the next chamber. I was successful in my search. That looks very nice. Let's go get this. Okay, Irabeth's letter. Anivia, if you're reading this, know that I'm alive and I'm rallying a troop of survivors to rise to the city's defence. We're going to fight our way to the Defender's Heart Tavern and set up our command there and hold the line until help arrives, or, if the Goddess wills it, we'll launch an attack on the Grey Garrison. I love you and I trust that we will see each other again in this world. Irabeth. Some money, some diamond dust, which will be useful, and... The Crusades are seen by ordinary folk, by Tullius Mara. A story recorded by Tullius Mara from the words of Warren. A peasant from the village of Dark Folds. Want to know why they called old gentry the Crusader? Old gentry the Crusader? This is what happened. Ogar the farmer died leaving three sons. The two older ones invaded the land, divided the land and lived their life. And gentry, the youngest one, was a square peg in a round hole as they say. He only knew how to bask under a tree and eat pies. What was he to do? Where could he apply himself? So he got a rusty old sword from a blacksmith's backyard, mounted his skinny horse and rode off over the hills and far away. Sooner or later he came to a castle. Inside it there was a knight's wife sitting around waiting for her husband to return from the crusades, so our gently sat down next to her saying, Fair lady, your husband is a great man and you deserve all compassion. I am a crusader myself, and used to fight the horrible spawn of the world wound. And so on he rambled, he sat behind the stone walls for a month, gained ten pounds, became even more well-groomed, and in the end looked like a baron. But he grew bored of the knight's wife, she was always pale and sad, and cried for days, praying to Siren Ray. So gently waved her goodbye and went on his way. Is there more? There is more. He rode and rode and saw a mill on a river and a miller's wife, rosy cheeks plump as a partridge. Our gently cozied up to her saying, Lady miller's wife, does your husband happen to be at home? No, my good sir. Last year the fay dragged him into the river, she said. So Jenny invited himself to stay at the mill. 
He lay on a soft bed, eating pies, drinking beer and walking around the village. He had some nerve, told everyone at the village tavern what a seasoned crusader he was. He feared no demon and promised to show them what's what. So, one moonlit night when he was huffing and puffing on the window, he felt a grab in his back so strongly that he couldn't stand it. He looked down and there she was, a crone, horrible, like a skeleton with a crooked nose, eyes like embers, a hollow stomach, ribs sticking out and claws instead of nails stinking of a ripened grave. Try as he might, gently couldn't get away. The crone held him tight, hissing, Where are you going, my sweet crusader? Come on, put your bun in my oven. And she stuck out her long tongue and licked her rotten teeth. Somehow, Gently wriggled, wiggled away, leaving plenty of his skin and meat on her claws. He ran from the mill in a panic, ran all the way to the village, naked and bleeding, so he's running and yelling, Demons! Demons! Well, the locals gathered with their axes and pitchforks and came to the mill, but it was empty. The crown was gone. They did find an ugly corpse in the basement, though. They knew it was the miller's wife by her hair and clothes. That's when Gently lost his mind. Now he sits under his brother's windows, staring into the distance, saying, The demons are coming! The demons are coming! That's the only thing he'll say. And so that's why they call him the Crusader, apparently. What a wanker he was. Right, let's see. Lovely. Just great. That's a nice big healing potion. You know what? We'll give it to someone who needs lots of hit points. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It was like right around here. It was not there. It's here. Got it. Found it in the end. Ooh, you don't need that. You need that. Uh, you might eventually... Here we go. Alright. Is that everything? Is there more here? I hope there's more here. There's a door here. We can't go through the door here. That apparently goes outside. Is that Our it? Leads on. Is that seriously it? I mean, look, we were told like there'd be a whole load of stuff here, right? Um, by which I mean I, I would have expected a an update. Uh, more than nothing, leave it. Um, Feud of the Faithful, Grand Fantasy Six. Uh, Discuss the Grey Garrison attack plan with Irabeth. Um. Yeah, I don't really. Wait, show complete quests? Sure. Well, that wasn't it. How about I said. Um. Well, that's not it. Um. I don't know where it went. Odd. Um, I might look back at the beginning of the episode to check, but I have a feeling something should have completed there and we haven't had an update yet. You know what? I'm going to actually just leave the episode here because it is like half three in the morning. Um, and I should have ended earlier so I could record a second one. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, lengthy though it may be. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'm going to say goodbye for now though and cheerio everyone.